Hey guys, this is 101 TV. So I just started playing an online game called Valorant. So I decided to edit one of the characters in this game using Adobe Photoshop. And our subject for today is uh, Omen. Okay, so we're gonna turn this guy from this into this. Okay, by the way, this idea came from Benny Productions. You can subscribe to his channel and I'll leave his link on the description below. So let's start. First, let's remove the background by using pen tool. Let's change the canvas size so that we can add some background later. Then resize and move our subject. Now let's start to add some shadow on his back using exposure. Then some shadow on the shoulder pad. Once we're done, let's put some shadow on the bandages just to make it more realistic. Uh, maybe. Also some shadows on hand drops or gloves. Let's continue to add some shadows on his back. And some final touch of the shadows on the bottom part. There you go. Going back to the shoulder pads, there are some lines here that we can add some 3D effect. Using our brush, let's draw it manually. You can invert the line if you want. Now let's add inner shadow and for the distance, let's make it 10. Then let's change color overlay to yellow. Rasterize this layer. Let's use the eraser and change the opacity to zero. And let's start to erase these areas to hide the end of the line. Then let's add some 2D effect on Omen's hand as well. Let's use hue slash saturation, then make some necessary adjustment. It should be flipped on the subject, then invert the mask and using brush, start to paint on the hood only. Now let's change the color of the gloves or hand rub, create another hue slash saturation and repeat the process to change the color. Well, I decided to change the color of the other part of the hand rubs using the same color of the hood. some on the back as well. Let's make this color the same with the color on the fingers. And of course, let's add another hue slash saturation for the third color. Now for the highlights, just add the white color fill and using our brush, start to paint on the white part of his body where there are some linings of white. Then we're going to blur this layer. But first we need to convert it to smart object. For blurring the image, 40 will do. Since we blurred the white color fill, we need to erase the excess part by masking the layer and paint it using brush. Now let's create a new layer and clip it. Then start painting yellow on this portion of his arms. Of course we need to erase the excess part. I decided to duplicate this layer for future reference. 
then let's hide the duplicated layer. Then once again, use Gaussian Blur. Now let's unhide this layer and choose Soft Light. Don't forget to clip the mask. Select the first Hue and Saturation layer. Select the brush. And let's include this part to change the color. Let's create another new layer on top and clip it. Paint it yellow, erase the excess part and choose Soft Light. Now let's add brightness and clip it. Invert the mask and start to paint the yellow areas using brush with white foreground color to make it glow. We can also add some brightness on some area of the bandage. For the eyes of Omen, let's create a new layer and using pen tool, we're going to recreate the shape of his eyes. I mean eye, because the other one is not visible. Nah, anyway. Let's paint it red for now. Then add Caution Blur. I decided to use a black leather image for the face of Omen, which is hidden. Clip it and add a mask. Choose Lighten. Then start erasing excess part of the leather. Using Blend It, let's lessen the leather's visibility. You can also use Opacity if you want. Now let's group the layers. And then let's bring Omen to rooftop. There you go. Then change the canvas size so that we have a uh, wide background. Now let's add exposure and clip it on group folder. So basically, you guys, we're doing this to match the subject to the background. Now let's move Omen on the right side. And now let's add some explosion. And yeah, it looks like it exploded on his hands. But I decided to place the explosion below the building. Of course, we need to mask to delete the excess part to make it more realistic. You know, just to convince our eyes that something just exploded down below. If there's an explosion, the surrounding should be affected by some glow, right? So let's start on top of the background image. Let's add hue slash saturation. Clip it and invert the mask. We need a bigger brush here and of course 0% opacity. Let's change the size of the brush. Just like this one. Let's try it. Oh, there you go. So now we have some glow on the floor. Now copy the same hue saturation layer and place it on top of the groove folder. Make some adjustment if needed. And oh, I accidentally erased the mask. Let's add the mask manually. And there you go. And of course, we need to invert it. Now let's start to paint the area of your subject by using brush, of course with white foreground color. Then add some glow on it. Let's try to add some light on the right side. Then let's add another brightness and clip it and start to paint white on the back of Omen. Let's lessen the opacity of the light source. I decided to add some spark effect that is available on Google. Select the screen to remove the black part of the image. Duplicate the image and place it on top. Then add a mask. Now remove the excess part of the spark. Now let's add Omen's name and put some text effect. Let's continue to remove some sparks here. Then remove some sparks on the original layer as well. Okay, let's add some glow on his eyes. Of course, we shouldn't forget the logo of Valorant. Transform the logo to master floor. Then, using Blend If, 
hold alt and drag this one and move it on the right side then let's resize the valorant level now select the layer except for the original layer group it and duplicate the group folder hide the original layer and the group folder merge everything by pressing ctrl shift plus e now let's use camera raw filter and you can make some adjustment on this one on your likings so here's the original image the effects that we use and lastly the camera raw filter that's it guys thank you for watching please leave a comment and hit the like button as well if you wanted to see more videos like this don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll get notified once you upload a new video like this one once again this is 101 tv thank you for watching guys thank you to our channel members and super chatters